Uh, when Julian first approached you to uh, play uh, Van Gogh, what were your first thoughts? What did he say to you about the movie? I've known Julian for like 30 years. I've been with him in the studio watching him paint. He's painted portraits of me. I've uh, done small things like as a friend in uh, two of his movies, Meral and um, uh, Basquiat. His other film about Re a painter. <laughs> yes, really cameos. Um, where do I start? Uh, he, he initially wasn't sure he wanted to make this film. I mean, he was working on a screenplay with Jean-Claude Carrière. And he was trying to see if he could get it to the point where he was convinced that this movie was worth making. And during that period, he talked to me about it. But he didn't say, we're going to make this movie. He had me read some background materials, had me read the letters. And he said, things that you find interesting, make some notes and send them to us. So that was kind of the beginning of me being involved. But he still not, didn't ask me to play the role. Do you think he was trying to seduce you? He was trying to seduce himself because he wasn't sure he was going to make this movie. And then one day he called me up, and I lived quite close to him, and he said, come over. And I went over, and they put a lousy red beard on me <laughs> and uh, some clothes. And uh, his uh, uh, companion, uh, Louise, who did the editing and helped uh, write and helped in many ways on the production, she shot some pictures of us, of me. And then about a week later, he said, let's do this thing. So it was a very unconventional approach. Uh, it was very organic. It wasn't like the traditional submission through an agent and, and me weighing whether I do this. You know, I was dealing, you know, I, I was very excited that, you know, it was going to be a, a, a painter making a movie about a painter. And also to do it, I would have to learn how to paint. And he would be my teacher.